What's up everybody, it's your boy Will King, owner and operator of Studio Fit and also for the Gym Gods brand. So shout out to everybody. Today I just want to talk a little bit about um, a question that I've been getting uh, as of late and that is um, how to be successful um, in the world of fitness or in generally just overall success or whatever your goals are and uh i sat and thought about it for a little bit and i came up with a few key points okay uh the first thing is finding out what is your goal all right once you find out your goal you need to envision that goal what is it that you want to achieve what is it that you're desiring to be whether you're desiring to be in competition, uh, whether you're desiring to be a millionaire, whether you're desiring to be just overall healthy, what is your your um, goal, all right? And um, what do you hope to gain out of that, okay? Um, two will be devise a plan, all right? Now, a lot of times people have these ideas and they keep it in their head. Uh, I found that writing it down helped me out. <clears throat> so get a piece of paper and write down exactly what is your goal and how are you going to achieve that? Okay, um, use a lot of bullet points. Um, I used a timeline, like this is what I'm gonna be a year from now, this is what I'm gonna be two years from now, three years from now, four and so forth and so forth. And I found that finding it laid out for me and written, um, it also made it as a reminder for myself on. Um, what I want to achieve because life can throw you curveballs. You know, you'll be focused one week, something can happen, and you'll go left and you forget all about your goals. I always um, had my plan written out and I put it right outside my bedroom door. So every time I left my bedroom, there's a sheet of paper that remind me of what I'm supposed to be at. Okay. <coughs> Third thing is that you need to clean house. And what do I mean by cleaning house? You need to get rid of all the fucking naysayers that's around you, okay? A lot of times these naysayers are close to you. They're gonna be your friends or so-called friends. People who always in negative situations or whether um, you're in conversation with them, it could be by anything. They always got something negative to say, nothing positive, you need to cut them people out your life. You're not gonna be successful if you're around negative people. Right, there's an old saying, you can't fly with the eagles if you're hanging around with pigeons. And that's just a fact. So get rid of all the naysayers, okay? Now, on the opposite side of that, you also need to get rid of all the yes-men, all right? People that always agree with what you say, you, you um, uh, whatever you say, okay? Now, these people is just as dangerous as the naysayers because there's going to be times where you may feel like uh, you may come up with a reason why you shouldn't do it, do it anymore. And rather than being a good friend and saying, no, you need to stay with it, that yes say, that, that yes man is going to be like, oh, yeah, you're right. You, you should just give up and, and do something else. You know, they're always in agreement with you. And that's not always the great the greatest formula. So you need to get rid of the, the yes men and the naysayers. OK, you always want to align yourself with people that keep it real and also um, know what your best interests are. All right. And they're always going to keep it real, whether you like it or not. Them other people that you need to be around you, okay? And also, um, social media, the platforms. Stop reading all these negative uh, social media uh, comments. I mean, if you find yourself uh, in a situation where your news feed is full of people that's got negative things to say about relationship, being fit, life in general, Block them motherfuckers because you don't need that shit because you don't understand that negative energy can transfer into you. OK, like you could read one bad quote. Right. And it can resonate with you and you can carry that negative energy with you for the rest of the day. And by carrying that resident, that negative energy with you, it can affect your work ethic. It can affect your workout. It can just totally affect your total way of thinking for that day. So you need to start cleaning that out, too. All right. Now, the next phase is a phase that people will find difficult, and I found it difficult too, and that is kill the excuses, all right? Kill all the doubts, all right? This is difficult because um, anytime things get tough, people tend to create anxiety, um, depression, and, and doubt sits in, and you must develop a mental um, strength 
to override that doubt, okay? Um, and override the reason why you shouldn't do what you want to do that day, okay? You wake up in the morning, oh, yesterday was a long day, so your excuse is, well, I'm too tired, it's gonna be a bad workout, I'm just not gonna, no, that's a fucking excuse. Get up and get to work, all right? Because if you're not working, somebody else is working, and they're gonna achieve your goal before you reach your goal. Get up and do what you need to do, all right? Next thing, uh, read some positive books. All right. Um, follow positive people on the social media platforms. Um, <clears throat> there are people out there who have positive things to say. Um, great ideas um, and even informative information for you to help you reach your goals. You know, there's things that I don't know everything. Right. Nobody knows everything. So just finding, searching on the social media platforms and find, finding people that you can align with and you can learn from or you overall just like as a person, that stuff, like I said, just like the negative energy, the positive energy is also going to transfer into you, okay? And um, reading those books, like right now, I'm reading the Dalai Lama about just wisdom, you know, looking at life in a whole different perspective. And in that mannerism, I, found, I find myself... Um, in a more positive outlook on everything, okay? Um, and affiliate yourself with people that um, harbor the same goals as you, or maybe the people that's already successful in the field that you want to be in, or already has achieved the goal that you want. You want to be around those people because they'll trickle down and give you some information that can be pivotal for your success, all right? And let, last but not least, is never fucking give up. Point blank period. Never give up. No matter what comes your way, you can't give up. Because if you're not going to invest in yourself, who the fuck else will? Right? Never give up. Get up in the morning. Do what you need to do. Go to bed happy and go to bed saying, you know what? I did my job for the day. I did better than yesterday. And the next day you get up, you have the same mindset. All right? So, um... These are just a few key points that I that I put together that, that that's, that's working for me. Hopefully it works for you. So um, shout out to all my Studio Fit family and shout out to all the gods out there, the gym gods and gym goddesses. Um, if you like this video, video, subscribe now, hit the like button, and there's plenty more to come. Peace.